welcome Nita is also one of those outstanding stories in the fact that his brother actually introduced him to boxing and he uh, as a matter of fact the back of the backyard they used milk cartons they were stuffed with paper as gloves they didn't have enough money to buy the gloves but he's come a long long way from those days well Sam it's the old story that a hungry fighter makes a good fighter and uh, Nita came from uh, humble financial beginnings and um, has been able to fight his way to a comfortable position now and I think we have to see, is he still as hungry as he was when he was a young man who couldn't even afford a pair of boxing gloves? You know, he's trying to give some of that back too, Nigel, and the fact that he, along with his manager, are trying to put together a youth uh, foundation and a youth center in his hometown of East London, South Africa. And uh, I think it's uh, quite a tribute to this young man. Yes, he has made some money, but now he's trying to give some of that back. And we don't see probably enough of that in the world of sports. Yes, obviously, he, he, he's a very religious young man. He cares about his community. He cares about the other young children that find themselves in a similar position as he did when he started out. So um, the boxing ring is not everything to Nita. He has a life outside of it. Uh, he's a family man. And, uh, you know, he's also an idealistic individual. And uh, the only place that uh, he's a tough guy is inside the ring. Well, the crowd starts to get pumped up now as Valenzuela is making his way to the ring. Our CISO Valenzuela coming out of Old Mexico comes in with a record of 41, 21, and 3. And again, a little deceiving, but he has 27 of those wins by knockout. That means that Welcome Nita has to be very cautious when he battles. Interesting enough, both these fighters turned pro in identically the same year in 1984. And, and you, of course, saw the, the weight. Nita. 31 for Nita and 29 for Valenzuela. And now... The most popular of the fighters in South Africa. Certainly the featherweight division and the man they feel can make it back to the world title championship. Welcome Nita. Nita coming in at 38 and 2 and 19 knockouts. The only two losses coming in title fights with Kennedy McKinney. And a crowd awaits the arrival of a scheduled 10 rounder in the featherweight division. Little tension on both sides for both these fighters getting ready to find out what's happening. Desmond Sono is our ring announcer for the introduction of the two fighters here tonight at the Carousel Hotel and Casino in South Africa as he awaits the arrival of all the seconds getting into the ring and the introductions of our fighters that we'll have here tonight on Cedric Kushner World Championship Boxing. You can see it's a rather close and confined area. Many of the fighters say that the fans feel like they're right on top of you. Matter of fact, they say you can almost hear the instructions coming from virtually everybody in the entire arena, and maybe that'll play a little difference in tonight's fight. Well, the venue can make a huge difference in the, uh, the way Ladies the fighters gentlemen, fight. This international featherweight bout is scheduled for 10 rounds. Officials for this bout, your reverie, Mr. Manny Smith, judges, Mr. Van Nievenhuizen, Skete, and Kam Lashe. Your timekeeper, Temp Powell. Introducing your principal, starting first from the blue corner, in white, red, and gold trunks, weighing at 58,30 kilograms, with 38 fights, 37 wins, one loss. Let's welcome, welcome, the Hawk, Nita. And across the ring in the red corner, in blue trunks, weighing at 59,16 kilograms, with six, 65 fights, 41 wins, 21 losses, three draws. Let's welcome, Narciso Valenzuela. Third man in the ring is Manny Smith, our referee, as he welcomes both the fighters to the center of the ring. Of course, both these fighters have been explained the rules back in their locker room. And short and sweet as Manny says, let's get this thing going. And we're ready to go. What can we anticipate early on, particularly knowing the style of Nita right now? Well, I think Nita is going to be reminded by his handlers that uh, Valenzuela knocked down Oscar De La Hoya in the very first round. So he's going to be cautious early and make sure he doesn't get caught cold. Valenzuela in the dark trucks, Nita in the white, as both fighters start off rather cautiously here in the first of a scheduled 10 rounder. Nita's always had that great work ethic. One of the things that his handlers and certainly those that train this young man say that you never have to worry about his condition. He's always there outside of the one punch against Kennedy and then the swelling left eye. He probably could very easily be undefeated. Yes, I think the reason that he's heavier now, Sam, is just the, the march of time. Uh, as you get older, you naturally put on a few pounds. It's not a matter of not being in condition. Uh, as you see here, Valenzuela has been trying to go to Nita's body, uh, hoping to slow him down. But Nita is not the speed merchant that he was as a younger man. 
He's much more solid now, fighting off the balls of his feet instead of running around the ring. It's always a tribute to the fighter when he's able to kind of change those styles almost with the years that they pass on. And certainly he has been able to hopefully to do that for Welcome Nita fans. I think a lot of it has to do with relaxation. Um, some fighters, the real old pros, they're as relaxed in the ring as they are on their living room couch. And this is something that only comes with experience. And Nita is at that stage of his career now where he can be totally relaxed. But he better not be too relaxed here because uh, Valenzuela is coming in with a pretty effective attack. You know, Valenzuela's had a pretty good uh, storied career and a couple of titles that he won. Won the Mexican featherweight championship, but then lost it in his first defense. Went on to win the NABF featherweight title. Lost that in the first defense. So he has had some titles, but has not been able to hang on to it. Well, of course, and, and, and with the smaller weight classes, the Mexican title means something. Uh, the Mexican heavyweight champion uh, really wouldn't be that <laughs> highly regarded. But uh, you get down below the lightweights, and especially down here in the featherweights and the super featherweight divisions, uh, the national title in Mexico means a lot. And as you can see, Sam, uh, Valenzuela does have that typical left hook to the liver that practically all Mexican fighters throw extremely well. That's kind of like the uh, first word of a paragraph for them almost as you start it, and then they hope to finish it with a period. And, and, and as you saw line. there, Nita has a, a pretty good left hook to the body himself. Half a minute to go in round one. They're scheduled for 10 here tonight in South Africa. Welcome, Nita. He, of course, has won five in a row now since his loss to Kennedy McKinney and Manny Smith to keep the punches up for Valenzuela. Many feel that Nita, again, if he has the right mindset, is certainly well on his way to recapturing an opportunity to fight for another title. But we all know who's waiting at the top of the heat waiting for him is a great group of outstanding featherweights. Uh, there certainly is. Uh, there's a very, very big uh, featherweight fight coming up in a month or so with Tom Johnson and Nassim Hamed. And uh, I, I know that Nietzsche would love to fight the winner of that one. Round one is in the books now. It's welcome Nita along with Valenzuela both scurry to their corners and wait for their instructions to find out how they did. Valenzuela first to dive in the corner. We take a look in there. So many times, Nigel, when you take a look in the corner, sometimes it's a very frantic corner. The other time it's very business-like. I think you'll see maybe a little bit difference in the style here, certainly over in the Nita corner, very business-like. Not sure in Valenzuela what they'll eventually do if the fight starts going the other way. Well, uh, you know, the thing is, there's hardly any, nothing that Valenzuela hasn't experienced already. Uh, he's been there, he's done it, and uh, if he loses this fight, I don't think it would be because his corner will panic. Uh, you know, he's, a, he's an old pro. Um, he's been in with the very best in the world, and I'm sure even he's fighting in uh, Nita's home country, he's not being intimidated. See Mazuna giving the words to Nita as we're ready for the second round. Two of a scheduled 10 rounder, non title fight in the featherweight division. As welcome, Nita, the former IBF champion, fighting with the white trunks against Narciso Valenzuela out of Mexico. Five straight wins by welcome, Nita, fighting in South Africa, where he has enjoyed a great deal of comfort, but for that matter, has fought around the world. Crowd at the moment a little quiet as the two fighters again try to make the adjustments from round one to round two. Occasionally in round one, Venezuela switched to the South Pole stance. Uh, he's back to the orthodox stance now. And uh, very good left hook to the body. Sometimes you say, is that a very effective punch? Yes, if it lands enough times, it takes a lot out of a fighter and it's an accumulation of punches that sometimes you don't notice as they're sometimes just a casual boxing fan. Yes, what fighters have told me is, you know, the head punches after a while really don't hurt. With the body punches, you feel them uh, as the fight progresses, and you feel them the next day, and uh, the, the pain factor is definitely so, involved. Both of you are hitting low. Okay, I'm going to drop points now. You understand what I'm saying? Referee Manny okay. Smith is warning both fighters for letting their punches stray a bit below the belt, which is inevitable when uh, you're launching a body attack. Midway through the second round of a scheduled 10-rounder. Welcome, Nita. You see the bouncing style. 
Valenzuela seems to be a very good counter puncher right now, Nigel. He's kind of weathered the storm as Nita's gotten in on top of him here. Yes, he's a, he's a good old pro. Uh, Nita just landed a good right hand, and, and then he tied up. He knows exactly what he's doing. There's that left hook underneath, underneath again by Nita. They're both landing successfully to the body. Nice counter right by Valenzuela. And another left hook to the body. You won't see, it, won't see it in too many parts of the country. It's uh, actually duct tape on those gloves. Uh, welcome, Nita. They're not going to let those uh, those seams show at all tonight, are they? Well, I don't think anybody's going to get cut with the laces, that's for sure. <laughs> you see the time winding down in the second round. One thing I've always been marveling about uh, is he lands a quick solid left hook. Valenzuela kind of taunting with it, except it didn't hurt, but you know it had to. He wobbled and was on his way down, but maintained his balance and stays up here in the second round. One thing you've always noticed about Welcome Nita, he does not come at you at one or two angles. Look how he goes to the top, hooks to the body, comes back over the top of the right, always coming at you from different angles. And that is the mark of a champion. Very well schooled, goes back to the jab, the set of his punches, keeps going to the body. It's not a helter-skelter attack that he's launching, he, even though he landed the good left hook, he didn't uh, go overboard. Well, another silent round by both our fighters here. Valenzuela's, I may mention, countering, but he had to, as welcome Nita with a solid left hook, and I would imagine for most other fighters, Valenzuela, uh, if it was anybody else, probably would have been down after that punch. Right the the right Here's the replay, this might be the left hook. Was it. I think uh, Valenzuela was, had put himself in a bad position by being off balance there, Sam, and the, probably the punch wouldn't have had such a dramatic effect, but it certainly sent him stumbling across the ring, and you see him rubbing his ear there. I think that's where he called it. One thing you don't need to do after you get a pretty good punch like that is taunt your opponent and hope you get another one. There's a rather calm corner going on right now. See Mazuna working down in front of him, an outstanding trainer in South Africa. He's got another good one here as we get ready for the second round of our 10-rounder. Cedric Kushner, World Championship Boxing, Sam Smith, along with Nigel Collins, the managing editor for Ring Magazine, joining us on our telecast tonight. Nigel, nice to have you aboard with us tonight. Fun to be here. A couple of good fights that we've got planned for you on our main event coming up. A world title fight of the WBU Cruiserweight, Super Cruiserweight, John McClain of Nevada and Las Vegas will go up against a hometown favorite, Peter Smith of Transvaal, South Africa. It is for the vacant title, and one will walk out as a world champion tonight. This one between Welcome Nita in the white and Valenzuela out of Mexico in the dark blue. And again, that great left hook of Nita. You can almost hear it as he really lands it solidly. He's fighting aggressively, but he's fighting a smart aggressive fight, Sam. He's not rushing in there, leaving himself over for a counter. As you see, he's coming in with his hands up high, ducking under the head shots, and working on the body, trying to bring Venezuela's hands down so he can bring the right hand and the left hook up to the head. Venezuela's got a pretty good reaction time as well. Kind of exploding with that right hand in the head. Nita comes back, does welcome. Lands a punch or two, but here comes Valenzuela battling back again. Valenzuela, after he takes a good shot, he, he does that little bit of mugging, and I, oh, good right hand, landed high on the table, perhaps in the arm. Valenzuela struggling as the right Six. hand, just almost a little right Seven. punch, and he's not going to make it. As Valenzuela Nine. looks like he's won the knockout here in the third round for Welcome Nita. So Valenzuela, unanswered, able to answer the 10 count by Manny Smith, the referee, and he still struggles with an eye. It was not a glancing blow, it was a solid blow, but it came right across the eye, and that's what Valenzuela right now is complaining of. Yes, he's, he's, in trouble he's obviously in distress. Here comes the punch on the replay. Nita rocks back, throws the straight right cross, and apparently hit the Mexican right in the eye socket, and I think it was a matter of more of the fact that he was in pain that he stayed down. He certainly was conscious. Got there it look is. at it from another angle. And again, there wasn't a lot of doubt that that did have some punch in it because Valenzuela wasted no time. Remember the last time he stumbled? This one right straight down. And you see that Welcome Nita kind of set that up again with a straight left hand. Valenzuela kind of 
hamming it up again, and he paid for it a little later in the round. Yeah, the first right hand uh, set the punch up. Nita knew it was there. The next time he saw the opening, he pulled the trigger. It was a counter right, and uh, apparently it landed on a very vulnerable area. Welcome, Nita, now with 39 victories against two losses, now getting his 20th knockout. Wade made mention this young man trying to make a comeback now in the featherweight division. A little more of that, and we'll get the official time of the knockout. It is not a TKO, but a knockout here by Welcome Nita in the third round over Valenzuela. Many felt the Mexican would be able to go probably into the later rounds. We're looking seven, eight, or nine. If Welcome does Ladies possess the punch, of Here's the one time. minute, 34 seconds of the third round. The winner by KO, Welcome, the Hawk, Nita. So the Hawk is flying again here. We talked to you early on, Nigel, about the chances young man getting in the featherweight division. A lot of people in front of him, though, but what about his chances in making a climb back into this division? This is the kind of performance Nita needed, Sam. Um, because uh, Valenzuela is a yardstick. And I think the fact that uh, he went 12 rounds last year with Reggie Tour at 130 pounds and yet got knocked out in three by Nita shows that Nita not only can win, but he can win in fine style. And that's what you need. You need to be an exciting winner in order to garner the important fights because uh, Frankly, a 10-round decision win for Nita in this fight would not have boosted him very much at all. But a clear, clean-cut KO, basically a one-punch KO, even though uh, Valenzuela wasn't unconscious, he certainly was down for the full count, um, is exactly what he needed. Nigel very alertly pointed it out. It actually was two rights, one that kind of spun him against the ropes. He started trying to cover up. They got in close, and then finally, as Welcome Nita got some punching room, he finally landed the punch that finally put Valenzuela away at the end of the third round, at least a minute 54 of the